As I was uh, coming out of sleep a few mornings ago, you know that time when you're um, coming out of a deep sleep into kind of wakefulness, but you're still um, kind of half in between. I found myself praying uh, for my basal ganglia. Now, your basal ganglia is um, a place in your brain, and it does a lot of things. But one of the things, as far as counseling is concerned, is that it stores... Uh, memories of emotions. Now, it doesn't store emotions. It stores the memories of emotions. And I thought that was really interesting. And so I found myself praying that uh, that God would just release the trauma from the basal ganglia and release the uh, original trauma and... Um, forbid that original trauma from having, at the cellular level, from having any more influence over me, which I'll do for you in a few minutes. So it was interesting. We had a situation come up that's been a very similar situation, and I think all of us do that. And, you know, the basal ganglia, I mean, it's, again, it's the memory of emotions. I think all of us, um, when we experience an emotion, we try to pigeonhole it into another memory uh, that we have. And I think that's what God was trying to release me from because I found we found ourselves in a situation that we faced before and it was like a few days later we were able to go, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, we don't need to respond that way. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of the best example I can think of. Um, I know Kenneth Copeland has often talked about this when uh, you hear a sad song and it reminds you of a breakup or whatever or um, somebody died or anyway you've experienced some sort of grief and the same song comes on it's real easy to get back into that emotion because the memory of that emotion is in there but it's not necessarily how God wants us to respond. I mean, Kenneth Copeland talks a lot about, and the Lord has dealt with me about grief. Grief will kill you if you don't deal with it properly because God has borne our griefs, carried our sorrows. I mean, it says we're not to sorrow. It says sorrow not. I mean, that's a command. So, um, so I felt this was really profound just to release the trauma in the basal ganglia because that is where the memory of those emotions are stored. And, and being human, we want to track the same way. Once we've got something, we think we've got it down, even in emotions. And that is so not true. God wants us to be free to respond in the minute by the Holy Spirit how He is leading us. So I'm just going to pray for you now. So Lord, I pray for everyone who hears this uh, within the sound of my voice that uh, all trauma from their basal ganglia will be released. Lord, also in the amygdala, I'm just going to throw the amygdala in there too because it does similar things. And and Lord, we just ask that you would curse the original trauma that was done to it. And Lord, that you would release um, the cellular memory of that trauma in the basal ganglia and the amygdala and at the cellular level of their bodies, their spirits, their souls, their minds, Lord, to uh, free them to respond and have emotions uh, as you want them to have, Lord, and not as the memory of those emotions have been tracked and remembered. And so just release all the trauma of stored emotions, Lord. In Jesus. And so people can um, discern, Lord, uh, what is the track that the enemy is trying to get them on and that stored memory, and what is a true response to you, a spiritual response in their emotions. In Jesus' name, amen.